linear uh, advection equation given us like this so if I were to run this is like this okay now what we notice is that uh, the t uh, fraction terms and everything they are they're all okay okay now what if I, what I need is let's let's say let's say if I were to write this fra this the front fraction inside some parenthesis like here you have u and u i comma j minus u i comma j minus one written in parenthesis so let me write c delta t by delta x in parenthesis okay so what I felt is that let me write this in square brackets like what we did uh, what we did for the other one okay now let me compile this okay it is in parenthesis but uh, look at the bracket they are not proportionate in size okay what we might expect is that we want we might expect the entire uh, the parenthesis to envelop the entire term over here and that enveloping has not come out properly and uh, for this okay for this what we need to do is that we need to uh, expand the brackets big enough to expand the brackets big enough we need something called uh, we need something called as left right left right arguments okay now let's see how to do that okay now what i do is that in, st in front of this bracket i, I write uh, left okay and in front of this bracket i write right okay now if i run this hopefully yeah now we see this now we see this bracket now this is the brackets the, now it looks fine and the entire bracket has enveloped the term properly okay what did we do over here is that we use this uh, function left function and right function in, in tandem what they do is that they tend to make the uh, the symbol next to it next to the function uh, big enough so that the expression that en envelops these two uh, is, ad is is proper like the so that the symbol symbol that en uh, express so that this this kind of symbol that envelops that envelops the expression okay is proper okay now what no, what I did what you can do is that uh, with this left right symbol it is also possible to denote the uh, also possible to have different different parts for different uh, uh, symbols for left and right for instance suppose if I were to write left uh, let me copy this fraction part fraction part uh, sorry copy this fraction part and paste it over here and write not rot right okay what I do is that if I were to use curly braces over here and if I use curly braces over here check this out um, looks like I did miss something what did I miss what did I miss um okay let me use this bracket first okay let's see if this if this is the problem or not yeah perfect okay so the thing is the curly braces do not i guess they do not come for left and right okay now similarly if i want this to be Okay, now sometimes you might require that one of the sides should have a parenthesis, the other side should not have a parenthesis. Okay, or should, let's have a different parenthesis. So what I do is that let me just copy this line again, uh, paste it again. This time what I do, let me just fiddle with these, fiddle with these. I just change this uh, left arrow, left bracket to be square, whereas the right uh, square bracket should be is circular. One might think this might throw an error, but in actuality, it doesn't throw an error. It just works out fine. Okay, and some let's say you don't want the. Uh, okay, similarly, uh, what I do is that uh, let this be curved, and let this be square. Let this be square, 
and if you look at it it looks fine and not only that not only that this left arrow has multiple options like uh, a cur like a curved bracket opening curved bracket closing curved br left bracket dot now what does this dot is actually is for uh, is for this to avoid a bracket use a dot left or right doesn't matter similarly here for right you have the same opening closing square brackets and everything and you also have several other things like a right arrow like right bra right brace right l angle for instance if i write right uh, r angle you check what happens you have this kind of a bracket you have this kind of a bracket possible okay that's about uh, uh, fractions and this way you are uh, you use brackets and fang sim uh, fractions and uh, brackets nicely and let me just think what we did uh, all this is based on all this is just based on uh, mathematical notations mathematical notations okay uh, what 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 else we saw bra we saw brackets yeah and uh, let's write uh, let's say something a little bigger little bigger combining all this uh, the definition the definition the definition of a derivative derivative okay so let's write this La, la, uh, limit limit uh, not limit uh, okay not, not like that uh, let's see let's leave the limit part of it for now uh, frac d y uh, by dx okay uh, equals equals uh, another, in another fraction uh, f of x plus f of y plus dy minus f of y for a very short distance dx okay you just get a marginal increase in y okay and then what i do is that uh, we need to write the le uh, left notation and everything right so i write this part as it is this part as it is and this part rit rit what I write is that uh, x uh, left arrow x, t x tends to 0 ok I guess this should be proper hopefully there uh, no. Okay, this should fine. Why am I missing something? No. Okay, I guess that we have we should have put an uh, underscore. Wait, wait. Uh, sorry. Let's. Okay, we we forgot this. Underscore. Okay. Now, uh, no, instead of underscore, let me just put the pipe symbol. I guess this should work. Let's see. Yeah, there we have it. Oh, oh, this is left arrow, so let me write this as right arrow. Because, okay, uh, run this. Yeah, there you have it. Now, this is the derivative of, now this is the definition of a derivative. Everything works out fine. Okay. Now this way you are in a position to use fractions left arrow right arrow to write something very meaningful and 
meaningful and sensible using LaTeX with the notations. Now, other than that, we have a lot, of, a lot more symbols. So we have a lot more symbols. Okay, that can be used. Uh, that can be go on. And uh, let's look at the other parts. We saw fractions and brackets over here. Fractions and brackets over here. Let's draw a new thing. New thing. Sections. Now in the other sections, uh, let's see other symbols. Okay, you have multiple symbols. For instance, uh, plus or mi plus or minus. We saw this, and then approx is actually which means approximately equal to. So if I were to run this, if I look at it, now where did I, where did those come from? Hmm. A. That's odd. A. Okay, sorry. I wrote them at the bottom of end of the document. Sorry. How can that come? So that's one thing. If you write anything below the end, end document, they will be neglected. Okay. If you see, plus or minus, okay. This is approximately, approximate symbol. That's fine. And then you have other symbols like uh, uh, NE, which means not equal to. Okay. GE means greater than or equal to. And then LE means less than or equal to. And let me give uh, spacing between them. Spacing between them. Okay. Just to indicate them. Okay. This is not equal to, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and standard mathematical notation. And uh, if you want, and, and you like that, you have greater than, greater than, greater than, less than, right arrow, left arrow, right, left arrow, times, and everything. And you have symbols, and also you have symbols like uh, uh, let's, it's like three dot symbols like uh, C dots, and then you have symbols like uh, R dots, R dots, and then you also have symbols like. Uh, C dots, R dots, L dots. Okay. Now, if you write, if you check this out, come on. Did, did I make a mistake here? Um. I don't think it's R dots. Let me just check. Okay, I think it's R dots. That's fine. It's not the L dots, I guess. Okay, I guess so. This should work fine. No, R dots is the culprit. L dots okay. L dots okay. Okay. C dot stands for lower dots. L dot stands for I mean L dot C stands for center dots. L L dot stands for lower dots. So you can clearly see. And then I think U dots I guess. I don't think you, I don't know whether you have U dots. Just ch let's check it out. Apparently, I think this should throw an error. Yeah, there's nothing called as U dots. I think there's something called as V dots. Yeah, V dots. V dots are actually for three vertical dot, three vertical dots. So if you're writing, if you're, let's say you're writing something like uh, matrix, then this might be useful. And then I guess there's something called as diagonal dots. I guess. Let's see. D dots okay now there is like this you have diagonal dots as well these are called as D dots okay uh, I know the, okay now uh, this is about mathematical notations and stuff 
and we did have we did discuss a quite a bit extent quite a bit extensively about all these stuff okay now let's just make a table of contents here and then a new page new page and and this and this again there you have it there you have it a nice table of contents and explanations of how to write signs and symbols and everything proper okay i think this is enough for to this video uh, in the next tutorial what we'll see is that we'll see how to write uh, some arrays of equations how to write tables and stuff okay thank you guys for watching see you guys next time